Good day everybody. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well wherever you are watching this video from. This is your tutor, Mr. Mlenga. So I want us to look at um, a question specifically coming from linear programming. Okay. And this is the question that came in, in paper one. You know that for linear programming, it comes in paper one and paper two. Okay. So our main focus is for the one that comes in paper one. All right. So the question reads, Write the four inequalities that define the unshaded region R in the diagram. So you can see that uh, you've got the region R here, which is unshaded, okay? So you can check you've got four inequalities, okay? You've got four inequalities that are passing, okay? So the first thing that you can do is name your lines that you have, right? Name your what? Your lines. So for me, I'll name this as my line one. Then, I'm going to name this other line, uh, this one, as my line 2, okay? Then, I'll name this one as my line what? 3. So, very, very important for you to do that. Then, from there, I'm going to name this as my line 4. So, what you do, before you start answering, start with the easiest lines, okay? So, the easiest line you can see, you've got line 1 line 2 and line 3. These are easy because they are just passing on the, for example, line 1 is cutting on the x-axis, line 2 cutting on the x-axis, um, on the y-axis, line 3 cutting on the x-axis. Okay, so let's start with the, uh, line 1. Okay, so we are starting with line 1. So line 1, you have, is passing on which point? x is equal to 4. x is equal to what? 4. So this is an e equation. Now we want to come up with an e inequality. So we write x. We leave space here. We write 4. Now looking at the type of line that we have, it's a solid line also. So if it's a solid line, it means that it's going to be equal to. Okay. So the shaded part, okay, the shaded part is greater. The unshaded part is less. So we are going to say x is less than or equal to what? 4. This is it. the first inequality for line 1. Alright? Uh, we proceed. Make sure that you follow what I'm doing. So we have answered for line 1. Okay? Now let's move on to line 2. So how can you answer line 2? Alright. So the way you are going to answer line 2 is this. Your line 2 where is it passing? Okay. Your line 2 is cutting the y-axis. As you can see, they are on 2. Okay. So, what you are going to do is. Okay. You are answering for line 2. So, you are going to say y is equal to what? 2. So, you say y. You leave space. You write 2. So, the shaded part is less. Okay. Then the shaded part is greater. So you are defining this inequality using the unshaded part, which is greater. So you say y is greater than what? 2. This is your answer. So you can see the line which is passing on y equal to 2. This line is a broken line. So it's not going to be equal to. So just say y greater than 2. Okay. Let me just try to put the equations. For line 1, we, have answer, we said that this is x uh, is equal to what? Now, let's come to line 3, okay? We've come now to line what? 3. Now, our line 3, as you can see, our line 3, is cutting, uh, it's cutting what? The x-axis where x, okay? Line 3, where x is equal to negative what? 2, like this. So, what do you do? Okay, what do you do? We're going to do this. Okay, you are going to do this. You write x, you leave space, then a negative to this side. Now, where the shaded part is, you can see the shaded part is less. Okay, then the unshaded part is greater. Okay, on line 3. Are you able to see? So, you are defining this line 3 based on the unshaded region, which is greater. Now, what type of the line do you have? You have a solid line. So, it means it's going to be greater or equal to okay so what you are going to write is x is greater or equal to negative what two 
that is your answer so we are now remaining with our line what four okay so we have said uh this our line three it's x is equal to negative what t two so the line four that we are remaining with is this one okay this is the line four we are remaining with so what do you do the first thing on this line four this one is, is it looks like it's complicated but it's not so what you do is look at where line four is passing okay it's cutting through the y-axis at the point uh, six and it's also cutting the x-axis at the point eight so pick those coordinates for example here you say a is passing this is the line x is equal to zero okay so your coordinates for x will be zero comma six all right then uh we come to the other part to the other part is passing here where we are saying y is equal to zero so it's eight comma zero okay you say this is b so these points now this point now what do you do you write them here a we have said this zero comma six for b we have said it's eight comma zero so from here name your your coordinates x1 this is going to be y1 and this is to, going to be x2 this is going to be y2 so what do you do first thing find the gradient of the the straight line why are you finding the gradient you want to use that gradient so that you'll be able to find the equation of this straight line okay which is line four so what you do is uh, you do this you are going to say gradient is found by this formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 okay over x2 minus x1 right so from there let's just plug in what is our y2 it's a 0 minus your y1 is a what a 6 over what is your x2 is 8 minus your x1 is 0 right so i hope that you are following so what are you going to do now what are you going to do you say okay m is equal to 0 minus 6 you get a negative 6 over 8 minus 0 you get 8 so here you can simplify highest common factor of 6 and 8 is a 2 okay where you say 2 into 6 is 3 over 4 because 2 into 8 is 4 so the value of your gradient is a negative 3 over 4 so from this point now what do you do okay from this point what you do is come up with the equation of the straight line where you say okay this equation what equation are you going to use your equation that you are going to use will be y minus y1 is equal to okay m open bracket x minus x1 you close okay so when you you organize your information there m is the gradient that you have found okay m is the, the gradient and what is this gradient this is the gradient right here negative 3 over 4 then for y1 and x1 remember i have those coordinates on top for a you can pick any of the coordinates so for me what i do is i'll pick a coordinate of which we have i've got y is zero so that i i i make my work very easy when calculating okay so i'm going to pick this coordinate 8 comma zero so this one will be x1 this one will be what y1 so what's next just plug in okay where you have the y here right here it's just going to be y minus zero because your y1 is a zero is equal to what is your gradient your gradient you have found that is three over four open bracket x minus what is your x1 okay what is your x1 so your x1 in this case your x1 is a what is a 8 so you write 8 you cross so what you do is where you have y is minus 0 just write y equal to so negative 3 over 4 times x we are going to have negative 3 over 4 x minus so negative sorry negative negative here you are going to have a positive 
you can see 3 over 4 times 8. It means this 4 can go into 8. Where you say 4 here, 1. 4 into 8 is a what? A 2. So 3 times 2, you get a what? A 6. So this is what you are getting, okay? So this is the, the this is the equation. Now come up with an equation. So your equation, you, the way you are going to write it, you say, why? You leave space there, and then you write negative 3 over 4 x plus 6 okay plus 6 so let's go back when we go back we check our line this is our line which is line what 4 so the shaded part is the upper what is the upper region okay so what we do, what we do is we understand that the upper region the upper region is greater, while the lower region is what? Less. So the unshaded part is the lower region, which is the less. What type of the line do you have? A solid line. So it means that's going to be less than or equal to. So you come back, okay? You come back, then you state your point here. You say y is less than or equal to negative 3 over 4x plus what? 6. So this is your fourth in quality so this is how you can answer this question thank you so much for having time to view this content make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel okay bye bye